it's Leanne from Stamp Chatter and welcome to another video. If you don't know me, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, specifically British Columbia, and I have been doing this for 25 years. Uh, it's a long time. I thought I would do it for maybe a couple, but here I am 25 years later and I'm still doing it. So today, as we're counting down to Christmas, I thought we would do a Christmas card. So uh, this is the card I'm going to show you, and it uses quite a few sets from the mini catalog that is out currently. So we're going to use the Falling Snow Background. We're going to use Peaceful Season, and we're going to take the joy and love to you out of that. The house is from Yuletide Village, so this little one here. And although it has a really nice tree, I really wanted to use this tree from Snowy Wonder because... It had a die and I didn't have to fussy cut it. So those are the stamps that we're using. We're gonna use the deckled rectangle dies and I'm using one, two, three, four, the fifth, the fifth one in, okay? So that is about two, just over two and a half by four. Okay, so we're gonna use that. And we're gonna use the background snowy, I think it's just called snowy because I've lost the case, if you can believe it. And we're gonna use the folder that looks exactly like this, which is also snowy. That is right here. Okay, so those are, it's quite a few different pieces, but that's what we're gonna do to make this card. Basic white, poppy red, and pool party. So let's grab some cardstock. Okay, so here we go. I've got my pieces, my basic white, poppy red, and pool party. And I'll bring my cutter in, put these off to the side. Oh, take these little trees that I've already cut out, put that aside. Okay. Let's take some white, and this is just a basic card size, and so five, five and a half by eight and a half, and then score it on the long side at four and a quarter. That's all you need to do for that one. Let's give that a little fold. Where is my bone folder? There, oops. All right, put that aside, uh, bring in that whisper white again. Now I'm using just the regular um, layering weight. I didn't use the thick Stampin' Up Thick because I've run out, otherwise I probably would, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna cut this down to three quarters of an inch by five. Okay, and then I will take the poppy red and I'm going to layer it very scantily. Scantily, is that a word? So I did three and three quarters. I'm now going to do three and seven eighths. And then I had five before. I'm going to do five and an eighth. So I'm just doing a scant larger. I'm going to emboss this piece and I know it kind of sounds weird, but it does shrink ever so slightly when you emboss. Um, I just must just pull, depends on the design, but can um, pull the cardstock together. So let's emboss this. So I like to line up my cardstock just with the bottom there so I know that my pattern, whatever the pattern in is, is perfectly straight. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. So here is our embossed snowflake. I hope you can see that. There we go. And let's just put this base together and then we can put it out of the way and be done with it. All right, using some liquid Tombow here. And I like that, especially on embossed pieces. 
just seems to work better. All right, let's pick that up. Make sure I'm even because those margins are pretty tiny. All right, just like that. One more time and we'll put it on the card base. I'm running out a little bit. Make sure I've got the right side. I've done that. Glued it to the wrong side. And I am putting the, see the accumulation of snow is at the bottom. I kind of think that's the way it should go, but honestly, I don't think it matters. All right, so let's put that aside. Now what we need to do is take that deckled rectangle and we want to cut two white pieces out of Whisper White and one out of Pool Party. And I will do that and be right back. Okay, so here are my two white pieces, my Pool Party piece. And I just want to make sure these are all the same direction. So um, the design of the decal edge here on all four sides are slightly different. So this edge and this edge are different. And so I want all three pieces to be the same edge. So I, I'm just uh, making sure that's all the right way. All right. So I'm going to take this pool party piece and we are going to take the snowy background and we're going to emboss this. So let me bring in some whisper, whisper white, not whisper white. I just need some, some paper. I need some paper here. Okay. Let's do that. Perfect. Let's grab my Versamark, which is right here and make sure I got my embossing buddy. That makes a huge difference. Okay. And then we'll flip that over. I'm going to take a piece of paper and bring it over like that. My fingers don't get dirty then. They're such a small piece. Perfect. Okay. Where is my embossing powder? There we go. Let's put a bunch of powder on there. Well, there's a bunch of foreign stuff in my powder, but that's okay. It'll still work. <laughs> okay. I've not yet to buy the new powder that's being sold. Stampin' Up! is selling the WOW embossing powders now. Okay. Let me grab this. Woo! Down here somewhere. Love these grippers. I mean, that's not going anywhere. They grip really tight. Okay, let's clean this up and then I will emboss. I really should get myself a plastic container. But truth be told, I don't really do a whole lot of embossing. Um, I don't know why. I should, probably should do more, but I don't. All right, I'm going to heat that up. I'll heat my gun now and I will... Be right back. Okay, let's cool that off a little bit. That is my background. So I can see a little boop on there, but mm, I don't know if you can, but I got a way to cover that up, so I'm good. Okay, so let's bring in these two white pieces. Now I've done quite a number of these already, and so I'm gonna have two layers um, in the background. And so I've already cut a bit of a template and you can just, you know, guess if you want to, but I did about eight or 10 of these cards and I wanted them all to be consistent. So I made myself a template and we'll just cut that out. Whatever, you know, feels right to you. All right, so that's gonna go there. And then this piece, we're going to take one of the houses from Yuletide. I'm gonna grab the skinny one. 
And what did I do with Mr. Brick? Oh, he's over here. Okay. So we'll take that in the brick and stamp using my memento black. Wherever that disappeared to. Oh, right here. I'm telling ya, it's getting too messy on my desk, so it's getting hard to see stuff. All right. In fact, I'm actually going to stamp joy and love to you. Now that was from the peaceful season. I love this set. It's just so many options in here. So I've grabbed this one, joy and love to you. It's already on a block. So I'll ink that up in poppy red and stamp that near the bottom, just like that. Now I'll come back with my house. Get that nice and even. Stamp that a little ways up with room for a tree to the left. Like that. And here's that little, what is that? It's a stone fence, I guess, or maybe a, I wouldn't say brick, I think it's stone. And just stamp that like that. Now we are going to fussy cut this, but let's color first using a few different blends. So I'm going to bring in some Poppy Parade, some light smoky slate, Poppy Red. I'm not sure why I have the yellow. I don't think I used it. And the dark pecan. So let's start with the gray. And I'll do the chimney gray. Love these pens. And then the fence. Most of it's most of it's going to get covered up, but we'll color it anyway. Just like that. And I'm not shading anything. I find this piece um, a bit small for that. Okay, I'm taking the darker pool party. And I'm going to color the house in pool party. So if you don't know, uh, blends are alcohol based. And if I stroke once, I get obviously a color. But if I stroke again, I'm adding another layer of color to it. So if I go over the top again, and put a second layer on it'll be slightly darker so just keep that in mind it might might frustrate some of you or maybe some of you wonder why you're not getting an even color all right oh, i'm being a bit messy here it's not very good so see i've gone over this a few times now it's darker on that side of the house so Bottom of the house is slightly darker. Don't know if you can see that, but it is. And now it's bugging me. So I'm going to go back <laughs> to the top. And just do another layer. No big deal. Right? Okay. Just like that. Usually I color it and then bring it in. I don't usually color on the video. So I'm going to make the door a dark poppy red and that'll cover up my mistake there and the shades of the house can be red as well I think we're almost done and I think that's a garage and uh, the poppy parade is a bit dark you know seriously I could do I could do slate, maybe. Let's try it. I like to think of these as sort of the, not really the gutters, but fascia, fascia boards of the house, I guess. I don't know what that's called. All right. And I'm actually going to do this brown, because to me it's the garage door. I guess it could be gray too, but. All right. There we go. Just like that. Okay, here comes the icky part. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut it out around here, up here, and dance. I'm going to take all this white out. 
So I'm going to fussy cut that and maybe put this on fast forward so you're not bored to tears. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. I've cut that out. That is going to go. And you see how these edges match? To me, that's kind of important. It's not that big a deal, but I do want it to match. I and mean, you don't have to have anything in the background if you don't want to. I just wanted another mound of snow. So let's take this piece now and glue it down. that and I am going to pop this up am I I am as I think of it at the last minute I had dimension dimensionals sitting here a minute ago all right I'll be right back all right I think I need to open a new pack Anyway, so let me do that. If it lets me, come on. Hello, Mr. Pack. Wow, there we go. <laughs> Let's open that up. Grab a sheet. Okay, flip that over. Let's take, oh, I love these tweezers. These are be creative tweezers and I love them a little bit of dog hair in there par for the course when you have a pet okay so let's put a whole number of these in there okay so I have cut out I already punched out these two trees earlier and I'm going to glue one of them to the left side of the card. Let's see, a little glue. I'm really running out now. Okay. Oops. Uh, top, just like that. All right, now my house is gonna go on. More dog hair, good grief. I don't know if that's, if you can see the dimension like I can, but um, I like it. All right, now take the other tree and I'm gonna put another dimensional on there on the bottom. And I'm gonna pop the tree up just in front of that, just like that. All right, let's put that on our base. And then we have one more fun thing we can add to it. And that's going to be these loose snowflakes. That's going to be fun. So let's just get this on first. How cute is this card? A little bit of work, but I think it's well worth it. It's just so cute. Okay. So I'm going to bring in these snowflakes again. Everything you see here is in the mini holiday catalog, except for the deckled rectangles. That is the annual catalog. Everything else you should be able to find in the holiday mini. So I'm going to take a few of these. I might grab my sticky tool if I can find it again. I'm having a bad day here with finding stuff. There's, I think, three sizes of snowflakes in here, I want to say. So I'm going to put five of them out here. One, two, three, four, five. You do have to glue them down. They don't have stick to them. Oop, where'd it go? Oh, it's kind of cute on the house, isn't it? I'm going to put it over here. Okay. Let me take that out of the way and just put the tiniest 
drop of glue. You're going to have to let this sit for a bit to dry. But I've done quite a few of them and they dry. They're on there pretty good. So, so you decide if you want to cover up a star that's already on. No, it's not a star, but a snowflake. Or put it somewhere else. Oh yeah, I was going to cover my mistake. But you see, I didn't even notice my mistake. <laughs> so we're just going to leave it. All right, another one. Here. You know, and if you put too much glue on, don't worry about it. The Tombow glue dries clear. Most of them do. I have some Barely Art glue. It dries clear as well. So, not a big deal. And you're going to need 10 minutes, at least, to let that harden. But there you go. Is that not cute? I think that's a really cute Christmas card. I don't know how many you'd want to make. <laughs> Send it to someone you really love. But I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be with you, hopefully, uh, soon with another Christmas card. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.